Will you please stand for a moment of silent meditation and remain standing as we honor our nation in reciting the Pledge of Allegiance. And now join me for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, everybody. Happy Friday. Now we're wrapping up this week because we've got some more news coming from around school and we're only seven days until spring break. So listen up because this is the Lion Pride News. Today's birthdays are Kenny Pearson, Kyle Denton, Tajanika Armstrong, Joshua Chavers, Mackenzie Hart, and Kelsey Thrift. Saturday's birthdays are Jose Guerrero, Stephen Odom, Lacey Mandic, Dylan Chambers, Zoe Brinson, and Wilson McWaters. Sunday's birthdays are Destiny Sanchez, Richard Sanchez, Kayla Page, Kayla Henson, Dakota Vick, Morgan Sayers, and Angel Purdue. Hi, I'm Avery, and I'm eight years old, and this is my cancer story. I had just turned four years old, and my parents noticed some bruises on my legs. And they took me to the doctor, and the doctor said I had leukemia. I didn't feel sick. I didn't look sick. But all of a sudden, doctors came in. It scared me. I came home about after a week. Couldn't go to school or church. I had to take all these nasty medicines. Blech! Treatment t t lasted about two and a half years. I had a thousand pokes at least. All my straight hair fell out, but it came back curly. See? Sometimes I felt really sick and had to stay in the hospital. Some neat things I did was paint this picture with an artist and make a wish granted me two wishes from Hawaii to swim with dolphins and surf. I finished treatment about 18 months ago and this week my doctor says I am a very healthy healthy eight year old and still cancer free. As a part of their national service project, HOSA will be collecting donations in support of Pennies for Patients. All funds will be going to the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. HOSA members will be going around collecting donations in classrooms and during lunch through Friday. Please give your spare change and show your support. Attention seniors and juniors, the ASVAP test will be given on Tuesday, April 5th. The ASVAP test explores occupations in line with your interests and skills. You need to sign up in Ms. Wilkerson's office by noon Thursday, March 24th. There will be an only 50 seat reserved for testing, 25 for seniors and 50 for juniors, so don't delay and sign up. Juniors and seniors, prom tickets will be on sale starting Monday for the lowest available price of $20 each. You may get them in Ms. Champion's room, 406, or Ms. Anderson's room, 402. You must have your non-fully date pre-approved before paying for his or her ticket. After spring break, tickets will be $25 each, so buy yours early. Attention students, if you're interested in trying out for the Fully HS Color Guard or Blue Diamonds, the dance team, please stop by the band room and see Mr. Major. Literature has always been a way for the human mind to go to places unknown. To go to outer space, to go to the Wild West, to go to the future, and to go to the past. Literature allows us to forget about what's going on around us and venture off into different worlds. It's a form of art expressing the human imagination. It gives us freedom to go wherever we want. It brings us to tears, makes us laugh, and inspires us. It allows us to be whoever we want, an escape from reality and an opening to our imagination. It is a vault containing the human experience, its fears, and its joys. You hold the keys. Are you going to open it? If you wish to unlock the vault of your imagination, join the novel, an elective by Ms. Cerulli in room 507. Anyone 
interested in joining choir for the next year must see Mr. Ham for tryout information. Choir tryouts will be in May, but everyone trying out must register for choir on their course card. We're starting the very first show choir in Baldwin County next year as well. It will be a competitive group for men and women. Everyone remotely interested needs to attend the interest meeting in the choir room on Monday, April 4th after school. This is the Monday after spring break. To promote music in South Baldwin area, the Spansburg Band of Gulf Shores United Methodist Church is providing a financial scholarship for a deserving musical talent. This will be a $1,000 scholarship with a deadline on June 30th. See Mrs. Wilkerson or Ms. Lores for the application. Any student wishing to take peer help in one next year needs to pick up an application in Ms. Cody's room, 210, or Ms. Champion's room, 406. This course is something that you must be pre-approved to take. So please pick up an application and return it before spring break. Attention Interact members, if you're interested in attending the Alberta Elementary Field Day next Thursday, March 24th, please see Ms. Styron and pick up a permission slip for the field trip. Students interested in participating in Model UN International Studies next year need to see Ms. Goodwin in room 920 as soon as possible. It does not show up in your list of electives, but there is an application in process. Feel free to email Ms. Goodwin at cgoodwin at bcbe.org for more information. interested in attending the luncheon, please sign up with Ms. Harrison as soon as possible. Today for lunch we're having chili cheese nachos, chili with beef and bean and tortilla chips or chicken quesadillas, corn, baby carrots, fruit, sour cream and salsa, or grab and go. Have a good day. Thought of the day with Ashley Patterson. Cesar Chavez, former president of the United Farm Workers, AFL-CIO, experienced prejudice firsthand as a young boy when he was taken to the police station for sitting in the whites-only section of a movie theater. The shame and powerlessness he experienced as a young Hispanic man made a lasting impression on him, but instead of channeling his frustration into destructive behavior, Cesar Chavez had courage. You know that the word courage comes from the Latin core, from the heart. He acted from his heart, taking his negative experience and turning them into positive action. He became a leading spokesman for the migrant farm workers and made important contributions to the world. The next time you find yourself in a difficult situation, it may be helpful to remember Cesar Chavez and ask yourself, what good can I take from this bad situation? With something to think about, this is Ashley Patterson. Make it a great day or not, the choice is yours. All right, guys, thank you so much for listening, and I hope you had a wonderful week. And before we go, the shout-outs go to... Brandon Boyer and Michaela Klein. I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. I'll see you back here on Monday.